Should Hawk win the All Valley Tournament in Cobra Kai Season 4? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment section down below why or why not. Yo, what is good YouTube? Back at y'all with another Cobra Kai video. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys why Hawk should win the All Valley Tournament in Season 4. Now, in my last video, I covered who I think will win. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll be Hawk. But in this video, I'll tell you guys why he should. And who knows, maybe Cobra Kai will give him his moment. So one of the characters that I believe will win the All Valley Tournament is Miguel. In my last video, I broke it down into three characters. Miguel is one of those characters. Now, as we all know, Miguel went through a bit of a transformation, you know. He was the nerdy kid that got picked on, got his ass beat all the time, and then he learned karate, and he got better, and he eventually won the All Valley Tournament in Season 1. Of course, in Season 3, he was in a coma, battled his injuries, and Season 4 will probably see more of that from Miguel, so perhaps Miguel will become yet another two-time champ in the series however yes although we all love miguel as a character he's a great character great fighter very interesting character and i have no problem with him being the karate kid in this series however i think we tend to ignore i don't want to say forget but ignore the fact that eli aka hawk went through a transformation as well as miguel in season one in case we forgot this kid, Eli, yes, that is the same character. It's really hard to believe that's the same person. No, that wasn't a different character. I just disappeared. No, that is Hawk before he became Hawk. Eli, the kid with the, with the lip, you know, he got picked on just like Miguel. And he didn't like being picked on. In fact, in the dojo, Johnny just kept pushing his buttons, calling him lip and saying, hey, if you want me to stop making fun of you for the lip, you gotta flip the script. So what did Eli do? He walked into Cobra Kai with that mohawk. And I gotta be real. I didn't know who he was at first. None of us did. None of us recognized him. We were like, who's this? Is this a new character? No, it was Eli who has now became Hawk. And since then, Eli has become a badass. But he still stayed to his roots for the most part. And he kicked ass. And he even got to the final four in the tournament. And he didn't actually get beat. He just got disqualified. And he even got a point. The first point against Robbie. Then of course Robbie surprised him. Getting a point. And he made a comment about Hawk's haircut. And that set Hawk off. And got himself disqualified. Hawk is a great character. And a badass. But he is short tempered. And that does get him into trouble sometimes. And that tournament was a great example of it. In Season 2, Eli, aka Hawk, turned into what he hated. You know, he became the bully. He went from being bullied to being the bully. Now, a lot of you say that he was not a bully, but you guys are delusional if you really think that. The actor himself even said that Eli became what he hated, a bully. I mean, come on, beating up Dimitri over an interview, pouring beer on Dimitri when he tries to help him. Come on, man. He even alienated Dimitri, his old friend, just because he wanted to be cool. But, you know, Hawk didn't want to be bullied, and, you know, he wanted to be the cool kid, and he did become just that. Unfortunately, he did take some losses, getting dropped by Robbie at the mall, and even getting kicked into the trophy case by Dimitri, which we all hoped would humble him. However, in Season 3, Hawk was still being a bully, and starting trouble, stealing tickets from people in the arcade, and stealing stuffed animals from the arcade. However, we started to see the Eli soft side when he broke Dimitri's arm. He did not want to do it. He was hesitant. We all thought he was not going to do it. Unfortunately, due to peer pressure and Hawk wanted to sustain his popularity, he did break his arm. But even after he broke his arm, you know, he would smile when they would shake his hand and whatever. But when they walked away, he looked really sad and like he regretted his decision. Of course, later in that season, Priest recruited Kyler 
and his bully friend Brooks to try and try out for Cobra Kai. Hawk obviously was not a fan and he just took it upon himself to beat the shit out of Brooks as a statement to Kyler. Please, stop. Also, you could see Hawk was disagreeing with Kreese throughout the season, including when Kreese kicked out several Cobra Kai members just for feeling bad for the hamster getting eaten by the snake. It was all building up that Eli, aka Hawk, was going to turn into a good guy again. And of course, in the season finale, when him and Cobra Kai pulled up to beat the shit out of miyagi Doe and Eagle Fang, Kyler shook his hand as he's beating the shit out of Miguel at the moment. And he just looks like he's regretting it. And everything that was said by Miguel and Johnny, such as Kreese got in your head. And when Johnny said one of my favorite lines in the show, when you came into my dojo, you were softer than a baby's air. He saw Dimitri getting beat down. And that's when Hawk said enough. Enough's enough. He beat the shit out of Cobra Kai with just Dimitri by his side. So bad ass. And then he came into Daniel's dojo alongside Dimitri and Miguel to let Tori know that fight's over. Hawk was by side with his season one posse. You cannot tell me that Hawk did not have the best transformation in the entire show. You can't tell me Hawk isn't amongst the best characters. He's a side character. But he needs to be pushed to a main character. There is a scenario of how Hawk could win in Season 4. Hawk could be the new Karate Kid in Season 4. Because we all know, Tori told him that he better watch his back. Called him a traitor. He's going to get jumped. He's going to get tormented for turning on his crew. And as we all know, Johnny and Daniel joined forces. Hawk. Terrorized Miyagi Doe. Took that Medal of Honor. Daniel might get mad. He, he probably will be mad. It might cause some conflict, but I think Daniel will try and make Hawk better as a person and teach him the ways. And perhaps Hawk might get back with Moon and she can help him better himself as a person. Plus, there was tension between Hawk and Robbie. Not only because Robbie put Miguel in the hospital, but Robbie did show Hawk up quite a bit. Such as the moment when he stole the snake without the snake hold. So we could see something like a Robbie-Miguel rematch in Final Four. And Robbie could cheat to beat Miguel, like how Miguel cheated to beat Robbie in Season 1. It could come down to Hawk versus Robbie. Maybe Tori could cheat to beat Sam. Because remember, there's tension between Tori and Hawk now. And that might build in Season 4. Hawk could fight Tori in the Final Four and beat her. We're probably going to get Hawk versus Kyler. I'm really afraid that they might have Kyler beat Hawk just so Miguel could beat Kyler again. Let's face it, Miguel, we see him beat Kyler's ass enough. We need Hawk to have his moment against Kyler because Kyler bullied Hawk just as bad, if not worse, than Miguel. Miguel already had his moment in Season 1. He already won. He already went from the kid getting bullied to a karate champion. So why not have Hulk have his moment? I mean, Sam was just, you know, she was born into Daniel being rich and knowing karate. Sam winning would be really anticlimactic, and most of us aren't really a big fan of Sam. Her winning would be really boring. Miguel already won. Robbie, I mean... He didn't win, a lot of people would like to see him win, but he's on Kreese's team, so do we really want him to win? Hawk needs to win. It would do justice for his character, and it would just make for, you know, a great moment for him. He needs to have a moment, because he had the greatest transformation, and he also went from being a bitch, getting bullied, a nerd, a loser, to being a badass. Let him win the All-Valley Championship. I rest my case. Now, I'm going to close this video off. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you want to win. Let me know who you think will win. And I actually got my own online shop. 
with concentrated organic items such as energy drinks, toothpaste, laundry detergent, all that good stuff, beauty products, the link is down below. If you're interested in registering as a customer, my Twitter link is also down below. DM me and I'll gladly register you. But till next time, I am out. Peace.